What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are taking our very first look at the Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate. Now, after months and months of waiting, the Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate is finally here. And I'm so excited to finally be able to show it to you and look at it with you. But before we get to that, I have to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, and that is Coursera. You guys know that I absolutely love Coursera. I have been using them for years. I've also done reviews of Coursera courses on my channel. And if you didn't know, the Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate is actually being hosted on Coursera. So if you haven't already, be sure to check out this certificate as well as any other courses you might need relating to data analytics. Again, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. With that being said, let's jump onto my screen and take our very first look. All right, so as you can see on your screen, this is the Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate offered by Google. Now, I'm going to be going over a lot of things today. I'm going to be going over basically everything that they have on here, hitting the highlights. I'm also going to go into the courses and kind of walk through just a little bit very briefly on what each one is going to teach you. Of course, as we're walking through this, I'm going to give you my thoughts on my first impressions. But at the very end, I'm going to be talking about who this is for and who I think would benefit from actually taking the certificate. As you can see over here, it says enroll for free starts March 10th. That is because today is March 10th. This is the day it actually went live. So I'm recording the day it dropped. But if you were seeing this tomorrow or in the future, it will most likely say the day it is that day. So if you were watching this tomorrow, it'll say March 11th. This is self-paced, so you can take it or start it whenever you want. So that's really nice. There's no set schedule, so you don't have to wait three weeks or a month to start this. All right, so let's go down a little bit and look at the about section. It's basically the summary section. And over on the far right, it says you earn a shareable certificate. It's 100% online. It's a completely flexible schedule, which is very true. You can go as quickly or as slow as you want. I personally recommend doing this a lot faster. It saves you a lot of money. But as you can see below, it says it takes approximately six months to complete going at 10 hours per week. I think six months is a long time to complete the certificate. And remember, you're paying by month for the certificate. And so if you take one year, you're going to be paying every single month for a year where you can just do it really quickly and maybe do it in two or three months and then have to pay a lot less than doing it in six months or a year. It also says it is beginner friendly, which I completely agree with. And I'll talk about a little bit more as we're actually looking at the courses. Now, really quickly, they give you a brief overview of everything that you're going to learn in this course. It says that you're going to learn the day to day responsibilities of a data analyst. You're going to be learning things like data cleaning and visualization using spreadsheets, Excel, SQL, R programming, and Tableau. Now look at me and listen. I understand that just about everyone, if not everyone, is extremely disappointed that they are teaching R instead of Python. But we have to trust that Google knows what they're doing. And so if you are like me, and I'm sure everyone out there watching is, it is going to be okay. I want you to know that R is a perfectly acceptable programming language. It may not be as good as Python. I understand this, but it is a good programming language. And I want you to know that from the bottom of my heart. All right, no, but really R is a good programming language. If that was something that was gonna sway you one way or another, please don't let that sway you. I do recommend learning both if you have the capabilities of learning both because they're both extremely useful and both have their own use cases. So if that was something where you were like, oh, if they're teaching R, I'm not gonna take this, I recommend you reconsider because I think that it is really worth learning and looking into. Let's keep scrolling down uh, about this professional certificate. There really isn't that much in this section, so I'm just going to really quickly hit the highlights. They say that the average salary is around 68000 which I think is fairly accurate. Their definition of data analytics is the collection, transformation, and organization of data in order to draw conclusions, make predictions, and drive informed decision making. I think that is a really good description or synopsis of what data analytics is. Um, one other thing that I thought was interesting is that you're going to be learning from Google employees. So it looks like Google employees are making this course, which I think is super cool. People at Google are supposed to be smart. And so hopefully this course proves them right. Let's keep scrolling down. Uh, this is the applied learning project. Basically, what this is saying is you're going to be doing a lot of projects, which I love project based learning. Uh, these skills really quick uh, that you're going to learn in here are data cleaning, problem solving, critical thinking, data ethics and data visualization. All really important things. I especially love that they're going to be teaching data cleaning. I think that is super undervalued in what data analysts do. And so I'm really excited to see the actual data cleaning course that they have or courses that they have. Let's keep scrolling down. Uh, what is a professional certificate? This isn't worth going through, so I'm just going to keep on going. Uh, now we are at the actual courses within the certificate. Now, 
I did a really quick reading of what the titles of these courses are. Now we actually know what is in the courses. I'm not gonna go through them right here. I'm gonna actually bring up each individual course and really briefly walk through it. I promise you this will not take a long time, but each one is really interesting. And really quickly, I'm just gonna give you a brief overview of what each course is gonna teach you. Starting off with our very first course, it is Foundations, Data, Data Everywhere. Let's look at the actual syllabus. It's Introducing Data Analytics, Thinking Analytically, Exploring the Wonderful World of Data, setting up a data toolbox and discovering data career possibilities. This course is really just an introduction to what is a data analyst and what do they do with data. And at the very end, they talk about some of the career possibilities that you may have after you complete the certificate. The second course is called Ask Questions to Make Data-Driven Decisions. Let's look at the syllabus. The first one is Asking Effective Questions, Making Data-Driven Decisions, Learning Spreadsheet Basics, and lastly, Always Remember the Stakeholder. This course is all about critical thinking and asking the right questions to make sure that the solutions that you're gonna get are actually answering the questions that your stakeholders or your clients are actually wanting. The third course is called Prepare Data for Exploration. And let's look at the syllabus. You're gonna be learning data types and data structures, understanding bias, credibility, privacy, ethics, and access, databases, where data lives, organizing and protecting your data, and then there's an optional one at the end, which is engaging in the data community and a course challenge. Now we're finally starting to touch on some of the technical skills in the certificate. We're gonna be using SQL in this course. And then at the very end in this engaging in the data community, it looks like it's gonna teach you how to engage with other data analysts and have some type of online presence, which will hopefully set you up to get a job easier in the future. The fourth course is called Process Data from Dirty to Clean. And I'm extremely excited about this one, all about data cleaning, hopefully. The first one is Before You Clean, Check for Integrity, all about clean data, clean data in SQL, verify and report your cleaning results, and then an optional one at the end, adding data to your resume, and then there is a course challenge. Now, data cleaning is actually a really big part of what data analysts do, and so I'm sure that this course is gonna be very relevant. And then at the very end, they actually have a section, let me go up to it right here, adding data to your resume, and it looks like they're gonna be helping you craft a resume. Now on my channel, I talk a lot about resumes and I do reviews of people's resumes as well. And so I'm really interested to see what they actually talk about in that section. The fifth course is called Analyze Data to Answer Questions. Let's go down to the syllabus. The first one is Organizing Data to Begin Analysis, Formatting and Adjusting Data, Aggregating Data for Analysis, and Performing Data Calculations. Now, it looks like this course is gonna be using a lot of Excel and a lot of SQL, which I am a huge fan of. And you're gonna be doing a lot of data aggregation as well as calculations on those aggregations. And so it looks like this is gonna be a really good course. I am a huge fan of SQL, I love SQL. And so I'm looking forward to this one. I think it's gonna go into about the intermediate level. It talks about temp tables in the actual SQL part. And then in the Excel part, it talks about doing formulas and pivot tables in the actual spreadsheets. And so I think this is gonna be a very good course. The sixth course is called Shared Data Through the Art of Visualization. And if you notice right here, it actually is not available yet. It looks like it's gonna be available a little bit later in March. Um, but if you're speed running through this certificate and you've already gotten to this, you may actually have to wait because it is not available yet. So let's look at the syllabus to see what will be in this course. Uh, the first one is Visualizing Data. Creating data visualizations with Tableau, crafting data stories, developing presentations and slideshows. So this one is all about data visualizations. And of course, that's an important part of what data analysts actually do. They are using Tableau in this course, which I am a huge fan of. I also recommend using Tableau. So I think that this is going to be a good course as well. The seventh course is data analysis with R programming. Now, in the last one, the course was not available until March later this month. In this one, it's not available until April. So again, if you are going through this very, very quickly, this one will not be available until April. And you know we're not sure when in April, but let's look at the syllabus really quick to see what will be in this course when it is available. You're gonna be going through programming and data analytics, programming using RStudio, working with data in R, more about visualizations, aesthetics, and annotations, and lastly, documentation and reports. So, it looks like they're gonna be covering just about everything you need to know to get up and running with R. They're gonna be using RStudio and Tidyverse, which are staples. I genuinely am really looking forward to going through this course. I really need a refresher on R. I don't use it too much in my job. And so 
I am looking forward personally to taking this course. The eighth and the very last course is Google Data Analytics Capstone Complete a Case Study. And again, this one is not available until April, but let's look at the syllabus very quickly. The first one is learn about capstone basics, and then that's the actual capstone project. The next one is optional, which is building your portfolio. And the third one is using your portfolio. Now, if you look in here really quickly, this using your portfolio, they're going to teach you, um, it looks like interview scenarios. And so I don't know if that means interview prep or how they're going to do that, but it looks like a bit of interview prep. In this building your portfolio, it looks like another case study that you can do to add to your portfolio. And in this uh, learning about capstone basics, that's the actual capstone project. And really quickly, it looks like you're gonna be doing something on best in class. So maybe like cars, usually that's a term for cars. Um, we don't know exactly because we can't look into it or I can't dive into it because the course isn't actually available yet. But my best guess is you're gonna be doing something like finding the best in class car using R and SQL and Excel and creating a final project that you can add to your portfolio. The very last thing that I wanted to talk to you about before I give you my final thoughts is this part right here. You can enroll completely for free and look at everything in the course for seven days. And then after that, you actually start paying for the course. The course itself costs $39 per month. And it goes back to something I was talking about earlier. The longer it takes you to complete this course, the more you're going to pay. So if you only take two months to complete this course, it's only going to cost you $80. But if you take the full six months, which it recommends, it's going to be about $240. And so that is quite a big price difference. So again, if I were you, I'd be trying to complete the certificate a little bit faster than what it suggests. So what do I think about this course as a whole? In all honesty, I think it looks very good. And I'm really looking forward to actually taking this. And I'm going to be taking this over the next several months and trying to complete it myself. I think that this certificate is very much catered towards beginners, especially with those first two courses, which is basically saying, you know, what is a data analyst? What is data? How do you ask the right questions to make sure that you're solving the right problems, which are very entry level things, but very important to know. And so if you really don't know much about this field and you're really trying to figure it out, I have a strong feeling like those two courses are going to answer every question that you have. I also like a lot of the things that they're going to be teaching in this course with the data cleaning and SQL and Excel, with the data visualization in Python, and then the data exploration and everything else with R. I think that that is a really strong toolkit to be starting out with. Of course, I think you should go above and beyond that and learn Python, which is just a step above R. But I genuinely think that what they have going is going to be a very, very good lineup for a lot of people when they're first starting out. I think the cost of $40 per month is more than reasonable, especially because this is self-paced. And so if you do this in two months and you can get a Google certificate in data analytics for only $80, I think that is an absolute steal. Of course, it can cost you a lot more if it takes you a lot longer. But for $40 per month, I think it is a very, very good deal. So overall, I think all the topics and all the courses that are in this certificate are extremely relevant. All things that I have talked about myself on this channel that you should know if you want to be a data analyst. So I think this is going to be a very comprehensive course. I genuinely am going to recommend that a lot of people take this course. I know it does not have Python, but you can learn Python in another course. I have several that I have recommended personally. And so you can just go check that out if you really want to learn Python, but everything else in this course is going to be really good. And having R on your resume is not a bad thing. Now, one thing that I was curious in my last video was about this career health that they have. I actually was not able to access it because you can only unlock it once you complete the entire certificate. So I still don't know what that looks like, but once I complete it, I will know what that looks like. And I'm sure I'll make some type of video about that. Over the next couple of weeks, I will be taking this course and then I will give you a much more in-depth review of how they're actually teaching the material, the things that they're covering, and if I still think that this is a certificate worth getting. If you want to check this certificate out for yourself, I will have a link in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe below and I'll see you in the next video.